our time in Traverse City definitely surpassed our expectations. <laughs> it's been a huge surprise. Cheers. Mine's gone. Boop. But I didn't know that right here in America's heartland, in the Midwest, you could have some of the best beaches and clearest water in the world. What's up guys? We spent this last week in Traverse City, Michigan, and let me tell you, we were blown away at what we found. There are so many activities in Traverse City. It's like a playground for the great outdoors. You can go biking, you can go hiking, you can go stand up paddle boarding, and of course, you get to indulge at the local breweries and local wineries. There was so much to do and see. I hope you guys enjoy our trip to the cherry capital of the world, Traverse City. It's our first full day in Michigan and we just arrived at Sleeping Bear Dunes. These are some massive sand dunes located right next to Lake Michigan. So we're gonna try our hand at hiking up these dunes. All right, so we just started hiking up and the lungs are burning a little bit. It says it takes half an hour to the top of the first dune. I don't agree with that. We're gonna make it in five minutes. Yeah, we've been on this dune for five minutes. We're already three quarters of the way up. We have a slight problem. Turns out it's a false summit. Thought <laughs> oh, we were at the top, gosh. but we got a little more to go. But we still have this beautiful view behind us. You can see the bright blue lake. Not Lake Michigan, kids. Lake Michigan is still yonder. So we've been hiking for about 20 minutes on these sand dunes. You can see all the stuff behind us. And we just got to the point where we can see Lake Michigan. Just barely, just over there. I don't know if we're gonna keep going. So it was shocking to us to find out that this looked like a pretty leisurely stroll. Everyone's hiking in their barefoot, you're seeing kids and parents and families walking up and down the trail. But I don't think all of them are making it to the end. I think most of them are taking a leisurely stroll like we have. We've been hiking for 30, 45 minutes? Yeah, about that. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the end and now it's the best part, the payoff. Cars parked down there, now we get to sprint down the sand dune. Let's go. <laughs> well, that was fun. So the hike may be a little arduous, but the way down is definitely worth it. Do you think we should roll down? You can roll down. You're not getting the car after rolling down. No. Running down is fun. That was really fun. So we took the cheater's way of getting the payoff. We took the scenic drive to this little walkway right here, and then you get this beautiful outlook over Lake Michigan, 450 feet up. Don't go down the sand dune, boys and girls. No, it'll take you about two hours to get up this bad boy. We saw some people who were down there. Not sure how long it's gonna take them to get back up. Some brave souls. But it's worth it on this scenic ride. This is stunning, this calm, serene lake, which, I mean, everyone's gonna say it, looks like an ocean. But it's a step back through history as you walk on these dunes because they've highlighted points where shipwrecks from the 1800s. It's amazing to see that what seems like this docile, very calm and pacifying type of water, but over time, with all these big storms, it becomes as tumultuous as a, it's a rough bathtub. Huge waves wrecking big ships and tankers. Now, we just fly over it. Now it's time to head back. Enjoy some of the finer things that Traverse City has to offer, like breweries and wineries. Yum. And ice cream. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> All right, so we have worked up quite an appetite. Hiking, sleeping bear dune, checking out Lake Michigan, and now it's time for a little reward. So we are at Moomer's Ice Cream Shop, which Moo. is <laughs> which is <laughs> an iconic ice cream parlor that is known all around town. 
of Traverse City for having some of the best ice cream. It's actually voted the number one ice cream place in the US. Well, and we love our ice cream here. And you can maybe see that and you might be where the dairy hear. comes from. Yeah, you hear the little moos in the background. Moo. The cows are right behind Moomers us. Moomers has its own cow farm, dairy farm. Oh, really Is it wrong. America's number one ice cream? Tell everybody. Well, I haven't been to all of them, but <laughs> Is it your it's number up there. One? It's up there. I mean, look at this masterpiece. Oh. Delicious. What's up, everyone? So day two, we are starting out with a brewery tour. And we're not just driving around because that's not safe. We are riding bicycles. We're doing a brewery and I think some winery tours of the local area yes. inside Traverse City to taste some of the local delicacies. There's a ton of craft breweries and local wineries that we're gonna be able to taste and so will you right now. And the first one is we made it to our second stop, which is our third stop. All right, so we just walked in, and this place looks like my playground. Left Foot Charlie. The workshop brewing company is called Ales by the Rails. It's called Right Brain Brewery, and we're going to go try some of the beers. As you may have noticed, we had a lot of fun touring these breweries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and mark our words, Traverse City is the next microbrew capital. The way we got around is via bike, and this is the best way to drink and taste your way through Traverse City. But just be careful, just like everything in Traverse City, those samples and pours are very generous. We are gonna talk about it. <laughs> this wraps up our bike tour. It's time to head home. Let's kick it. Adios, amigos. We've heard about this cool place where it's just food trucks called The Little Fleet. How cute is that? It's just right in downtown Traverse City, which is the cutest little small town in the world. And there's just a congregation of all these yummy, delicious food trucks. I mean, I see tacos, I see locally harvested foods. I'm excited. Any type of cuisine you could want, and we're gonna go check it out right now. daily bowl and can I do like half brown rice, half salad? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, and no black beans. No Just problem. to make it difficult. So it turns out we came, we conquered, it was a success. I got the Korean beef and pulled pork tacos. And I got a delicious vegan Buddha bowl with kimchi. So they have everything you could want here. Sushi, ramen, plenty of tacos, oh, yes. healthy vegan bowls, smoothies, beer. What else do they have? You can get cocktails inside if you want. You can be as you could be a saint or you could be a sinner here at the Little Fleet. <laughs> so that was a delicious bite to eat. I was blown away at the amount of food, the selections. Who would have known you could get sushi and ramen in Traverse City, Michigan? <laughs> and tacos! Korean beef tacos. And the both of us ate for less than 20 bucks, so this was a super easy, cheap, and delicious way to get a bite in Traverse City. All right, guys, no visit to the cherry capital of the world would be complete without a visit to a cherry farm. All these white budding trees behind us are cherry trees. These cherry trees seem to go on for days. I mean, we are completely surrounded by these beautiful blossoms. May is a perfect time to come to Traverse City because these cherries bloom. The perfect springtime moment in Traverse City is when these cherry trees blossom. We're gonna go frolic through these trees like two little kids from The Sound of Music. Let's go. All right, so we are at what has turned out to be one of our favorite spots in all of Traverse City. We are at Black Market Coffee House. 
It's right across the street from our hotel, the Hotel Indigo, and we have started every morning in the best way possible with some of the best flat whites we've ever had in the world. Colette and I are huge coffee snobs. We'll admit it, I'm not afraid to say it, but these guys know their stuff. This is velvety, Ooh, mm, so good. just the right amount of sweetness, and the perfect blend of espresso and milk. Mm. Black Market, you're the one. What's up everyone? Welcome to The White Party at H&L Social. That is the coolest spot to be when you're in Traverse City. H&L Social is located on the rooftop of the Hotel Indigo, the latest and greatest hotel in Traverse City. And you have a 180 degree view of beautiful Lake Michigan. I mean, there's music blasting, the crowd is pumping. There's a ton of sailboats outside and the sun doesn't set until at least 9.30 p.m. So you know it's gonna be an all day, all night party here. And don't forget, drinks are pouring and the food is great. So bars back there, water's that way, sailboats galore. So a lot of people come to Traverse City to relax, to get away. But if one night, one night, you wanna come out, dance a little bit, have some good beers, have some good cocktails, H&L Social is the spot to be. So our time in Traverse City has definitely surpassed our expectations. We came here not knowing really a lot. It's honest. been a huge surprise. I mean, I grew up in New Jersey. Scott had a little more of a taste of the Midwest, but I didn't know that right here in America's heartland, in the Midwest, you could have some of the best beaches and clearest water in the world. And we have been blown away at all the beauty that Traverse City has to offer. I mean, I love the action of Traverse City. I think that's my favorite part. You can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go boating, you can go stand up paddle boarding. And then after it, you can reward yourself with an awesome beer or a locally grown wine. I think that's really special. There are a few places in the world that offer that much. And as a couple, I think it's great to share in these activities together and then relax together. Exactly. We play hard and we relax hard. All right, we are gonna take I have a local M22 IPA. M22 is the iconic road. And I have a local white wine. We're gonna enjoy these. Cheers. Cheers. And enjoy <laughs> the sunset. Hey guys, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And if you liked what you saw, then please like and subscribe below. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.